Yo, what is going on, YouTube? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Welcome back. So today we're going to be diving into some more CCR. Going to be looking at Cotton Fields today. All right, haven't ever heard of this song before, so excited to get into it, man. Been loving CCR, man. Always going to come back and check out the boys. So today, this is what we've got. Let's go ahead and take a little listen to Cotton Fields and see what we're talking about. All right, make sure we got it turned up. There we go. Here we go. Very simple on the lyrics, so easy to pick up on one first listen, just how to sing this song right here, because it's really just repeating. It's repeating lyrics. Uh, although he was saying something about the cotton. With, well, OK, so the middle portion, I didn't quite catch on about when it's ruined, you know, uh, the cotton. So I'll have to see what that lyric exactly was saying. But the main verse uh, was easy to jump right into. Definitely a feeling of a song I'm used to because I grew up right here in Texas with some country uh being listened to every now and then so it definitely just gave me that country vibe that i'm used to man sounds good sounds great man ccr this one's just a happy good feeling song reminiscing of a good time in your life in your past uh something there's a moment man <laughs> it just makes me think man there's a moment in my childhood that my mind will always be able to go back to and it's so funny because it's so so long ago i wasn't even in school yet that's how long I must have been about four or five years old. And for some reason, I still have this memory. Um, me and my mom go to the front door and we're waving off. Uh, I'll, at this point, I don't remember if it's my brother or my sister, but their bus is leaving. Um, and we're waving them off from the front door, okay? My mom picks me up, takes me to the, uh, the back room, lays me down on the bed and just starts playing with my hair, man. And I'm there laying in bed and she's playing with my hair. And I just doze off and I will always have that memory. I've always had it. Um, but it's funny how a moment like that where I'm like four or five years old, not even in school yet. Um, and that memory has stuck with me my entire life. And that's what this song makes me think about. He's thinking about a moment in his life 
that is beautiful and it's um you know just takes them back to this great before any problems arrive in the world before you knew there was anything uh bigger out here and sometimes scarier and darker right um you had this memory that just takes you back to almost a safe spot in your in your life man and that is a very golden memory for me but i've always had it and i this song just brought it up again man so uh just a good song feel good song man taking you back all right guys so cotton fields right here this is interesting we've got the ccr it says cover but it says 1969 and then we scroll up here it's actually from the beach boys but it says 1970 but theirs was recorded in 1968 so okay we'll see how this happens right here so early versions recorded by lead belly okay so this goes back even before these gentlemen okay i was seeing the beach boys here thinking oh this is a beach boy song man this is a lead belly I've, i swear i've wrote down uh this name before to do a reaction to i don't know uh lead belly um but i did find a video or a song i don't remember i have it written down in one of my pages here uh to do a reaction but it, i don't think it was this song but so we've got this song recorded by lead belly in 1940 cotton fields was introduced in the canon of folk music via its inclusion of the 1954 album release odetta and larry which uh comprised performances by odetta oh wait so you've got other versions right here harry belafonte did this in 1955 you got the highwaymen did this in 1961 this is a, a name i swear i've heard before as well the highwaymen i haven't done any reactions to their stuff uh but they're here as well they did a cover of that and you just go on to see even more and more people who have done covers of this song so man this is my first time ever hearing it in my life and it's been around for a while then you've got the beach boys doing their cover in 19 recorded in 1968 um their cover down here but the version we listen to today is from credence clearwater revival okay and i think that's awesome it's right up their alley to do a song like this you know it's always funny to me that uh they, they came out of california but they hit you with that bayou sound very often today we got the complete country sound of this um right here with ccr it was a beautiful rendition of it man i did not know it was a cover i really like um i really like the lyrics behind this so simple yet like i said it brought up a wonderful memory for me and i think that's what it's supposed to do uh it's a great one like that so you've got the genres right here of roots rock and southern rock attributed to this song on here um i see right here jimmy page at the age 13 performed cotton fields live on television on april 6 1957 with the skiffle band from epson county that is so cool man so you've got jimmy page right there at the age of eight uh at, at the age of 13 rocking this one out i was trying to see quickly if there were more names elvis presley right here in 1970s in in a movie it says you got down here that the pogues did this as well in 1989 i just got introduced to them via a, a reaction i did on the channel um uh, in christmas time and then you've got down here elton john as well so this is really cool man this is really cool to see that um there are just so much people that did covers of this song that i just think that's crazy the original lyrics written by lead belly state that the fields are down in louisiana just 10 miles from texarkana later versions ccr says the fields are down louisiana just about a mile from texarkana while the twin cities of texarkana in texas and in arkansas are about 30 miles north you know as soon as i heard the the lyric um i was like there's probably i wonder if this is like geographically correct um because there are songs that i've heard before where they make references to the way locations of this place to that place and always when you get to the wikipedia it's like ah, well it's not quite as they stated it because these people uh songwriters are usually not um uh, unless you're speaking about your hometown and you know exactly where these locations are if you're referencing other parts especially if you're like let's say from the uk and you're referencing two locations in uh america by mileage or whatever um sometimes unless you know exactly you're probably going to be off by something here the original version looks like it was about 20 miles off where the ccr's version was about 29 miles off okay so i just think that's always funny not a big not a big deal but just a little funny so thank you guys for tuning in here today i hope y'all enjoyed this one man let me know if the beach boys version if y'all heard that one if that one's worth diving into or uh any of these other versions listed man i thought this was pretty cool uh it's it'd be hard to see how they can give variation to the sound of this okay uh it's really simple 
kind of structured song. So for somebody to be able to go off the beaten path and just make it sound radically different would be interesting. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for being here today with me. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the reaction, please let me know by liking, subscribing, and checking out the descriptions down below for other ways to help the channel. Consider becoming a member for only three bucks, man, on my Patreon and YouTube. That's the perfect way to help me. All right. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.